today I want to introduce you into this another add-on for Blender called OpenCV Lab. Um, this is actually uh, kind of like a node-based framework based on OpenCV. Um, if you've been using Python and doing um, some image processing or like real-time uh, image detection or things like that, you might have heard of OpenCV. So this one works inside Blender and it's using Python 3 and there's a bit of tutorial that you probably interested to go through. Um, there's a bit of gacha. I think this is more like alpha or beta, beta like a beta app or beta add-on. And the one that's this one tutorial cascade classifier for to find a face of a person doesn't quite work. Um, but the threshold work, things like that. So you can download directly for Mac. Uh, this actually will download a little bit slightly older of uh, version of Blender. The, the one I tested, so I I decided to install it uh, myself and manually. Um, so the way you do it is if you go to download and if you find the GitHub, um, where is the GitHub? It's funny how the GitHub is not showing here, but the GitHub is actually you can search so open CV. GitHub or CVL and then under Feller 404 um, just download download the zip and after you download the zip you install the add-on as usual and then it will complain because Blender doesn't come with OpenCV module installed by default for the Python so you can follow the the PDF tutorial you basically need to go inside of Blender, find the Python, and then install pip, pip, with pip, and then you can install the OCVL, and then it will install the OpenCV inside your Blender. So if it's a, uh, if I were to do it again, go uh, the installation is actually kind of simple, but a bit scary for some people. You go to show package content, and you can see here this is the Blender. This is Blender, right? And inside it, you have bin and you have Python. And if you use terminal, so you simply drag, this is Blender Python, you drag the Python there and then you you want to install um, pip, uh, installation of pip, how to install pip. Uh, you get, you download the get pi get pip.py and then you simply drag drag it into here and it's gonna run blender python and install pip once you get pip then you just you know um, delete everything and then you install pip you drag pip and then you install the you just specify you want to have the open cv once you've done that um, it's gonna run okay let's just Open Blender. Blender 2.8 and uh, this is OpenCV um, add-on, OpenCV nodes. So delete everything, we don't need that. File under preference, you will see OpenCV laboratory, OpenCV laboratory, OpenCV lab. Um, yeah, now we can start. OCVL file save as OCVL demo. This node is actually pretty fun. Um, if I want to show you a quick demo, I, I will start. You know, the as usual, you got a lot of nodes. They are all related to OpenCV module in Python. Some of them are pretty cool. I can start with a image viewer actually image sample sorry image sample and this is how it looks like there is a bit as usual you have input node uh, input slot and output slot and for the image out if you if you click on the icon you're gonna get 
the image viewer. So image viewer is exactly like like this one. If you type in and then create it, um, this is like the default random. It's gonna generate random lines, which is actually already pretty cool. And then you have this option for the image size, make it 200 pixel or 500. The larger, of course, gonna take longer to calculate. Um, yeah, but you ha you can have your own image here. Um, let's me let me try. I think I have Suzanne photo somewhere. Suzanne, okay, Suzanne. I rendered this using EV. It, the image size is quite large, 1080 maybe. And yeah, you have things like uh, there's a stethoscope. Uh, this will similar to Sverchov. It's gonna output information. Um, you can start image processing like try uh, the simple one like arrows or delayed Gaussian delayed is actually, actually pretty cool uh, okay delayed things like delayed needs some kind of kernel it's a very open CV thing so with, with kernel I just you know click on that icon and I got this default numbering so then I can start playing around with this number but that's uh, something you want to try yourself there is also like what was it called oh you need to remember the name ah threshold okay threshold let's see if this is working yep you can infer the trans threshold. Oh, it gives nothing. Maybe you need a CVT convert convert color into gray grayscale. Now this is easier for this to handle. And then there's also maybe contour. Uh, actually, contour doesn't work. I tested the other day. Mm, yeah, for now I. It's just a quick demo, but if I want to also use uh, instead of image video, video sample, uh, I will try not to sh show. This will sample from video, of course. Okay, now you're looking at. Oh, actually. Yeah, this is actually kind of real time. can see the roof of my house but it, it, it's only real time if I keep clicking here so it's probably like a maybe there's a bug there so don't worry about that um, let's say you want to draw something you there's also like a bunch of useful nodes like uh, let me save this real quick image processing image filtering drawing I think this is really cool drawing there's also object detection but drawing let's try drawing like circle for example the nodes itself looks kind of scary but uh no need to worry what's the image input um maybe we start with a plane or something yeah just a simple plane with a color Let's say you want to draw Blender uh, Blender logo. Do you remember how to draw Blender logo? Uh, you can see the logo there. You need a circle, and so this, the center need to be at the center. So this is really, really, really handy. Yeah, so this is like because the image, the plane is two hundred by two hundred. We have one hundred. We put it at the center, hundred and hundred, with the radius. So we're gonna try to draw Blender logo very very quickly. Color in is the stroke color. However, I'm kind of wondering if we can make it thicker. Oh yeah, okay, that's the maximum thickness. Okay, a uh, shift in. I don't know what's shift in for. Okay. 
Okay, it can be thicker that way, which is funny. Now I cannot make it bigger. I will, maybe this is for the inside. Kind of cheating. But if we plug another circle there, increase the radius, make thickness smaller. Ah, it's it's kind of keep um, adding. So instead of circle, we want uh, to draw a line now. So the line is, uh, of course, slightly different. But this is actually how you do it using OpenCV. If you ever draw something using code instead of nodes, this is actually how you do it. You have all the parameters and you type it in. Some people say, well, when you start coding it, it's going to be faster after a while. But to be able to visualize this kind of thing is amazing. So yeah, thickness can go up to 10. I don't know why. Can go, cannot go any higher. Yeah, but kind of roughly making Blender logo here using nodes, you know. It's pretty powerful. And okay, we got this line, cool. So that line, we just need to change the coordinate of this one. And then another line. It's very nice. So very quickly, we can draw something that roughly looks like the Blender logo. And you can add maybe tags. So there's a put put text interesting blender rocks font scale oh actually font cannot be any smaller Ah, that's flipping it. That's nice. Thickness. Thickness of the phone. Look at this. And the origin of the phone. Can we have space bar in? I ah, know. We can have it as like two lines. Yeah. Yep, that's cool. <laughs> Blender logo, that's a fake Blender logo. <laughs> but you got the idea, right? That's uh, really just, I mean, I want to show you the basic of OpenCV. This is like, there's a lot more. The core of Blender, uh, the OpenCV is like, wow. So many, so many nodes that with the words that I never really use. Image processing. Um, there's also there's one that's actually get the outline of your image let me try to find it box filter that's just a blur Gaussian blur Laplacian what is that Sobel oh you can always search if you ever wonder what those means you can always search it because there's a, a lot of um, documentation Oh, Kenny. Okay, Kenny. Let's try Kenny. Plug this there. Kenny edge out. So Kenny give you edge. Um, no. Yeah, it's try to find the edge based on the color, based on the threshold. But it's very rough. Okay, I just found a bug. It's not bad, it's very noisy, but I just lost my mouse. But uh, you got the idea, it's a uh, really, really handy. Like, if you search, for example, oh, actually, this is a bug for this Mac bug. Oh, well, if you search OpenCV and Kenny, you're gonna get um, some documentation on what, what what's the function does and everything. So, but you, you the fact that you can do it. <laughs> like this um, inside Blender and draw it using nodes is really powerful and 
you can really convert this back into codes, into Python codes, and yeah, you can draw properly, bl draw Blender logo. I'll try to fix this. Um, but anyway, that's uh, basically a quick introduction into OCVL, OpenCV Lab add-on for Blender that's dealing with OpenCV calculations. Hopefully, we can in the future properly use the webcam and also use our own like maybe like 3D camera and then kind of pipe it into Blender. It should be like almost like real time. Um, yeah, there you go. Hopefully, you find this useful. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.